as it stands today, the Esports Certification Institute has paused to reshape their exam, but don't rejoice just yet, this thing isn't dead. There are a lot of powerful companies behind this, so expect it to come back in a new form. Shh. I'm also gonna tell you why this is the best thing to happen to the gaming industry, how it's gonna affect you positively, but one potential drawback. Let's get right into it. Let's just get started and call this what it is. It's a $400 entrance exam. For those of you who are already in the industry, this isn't for you. And for those of you who know people in the industry, this isn't for you either. You have somebody, likely, who will go to bat for you. You already have it in. This is solely for hiring decisions to help those from outside the industry try to make it in. Does this mean that you're not gonna be able to work in esports if you can't pass the exam? No, there's absolutely an opportunity for hardworking and passionate individuals to work at these companies. But with that being said, for a growing industry and space, you need to be able to hire new talent to be able to execute at scale. And while there are college degrees for esports out there now, believe it or not, they don't quite capture what's required to be successful in the space. While these companies have come a long way, they're still really in the early stages of their growth. This means in a lot of roles that you're gonna have to wear a lot of hats. They need to know that you can solve problems, problems that you may have never seen before, that you're adaptable, and ultimately that you can gel with the folks around you in a very high stress situation. They need entrepreneurs. And what can a hiring manager look at to know that you're an entrepreneur? It's almost impossible for anyone with any resume or any hiring manager to understand in one interview and gauge whether someone has grit, tenacity, and is gonna work hard. And that's why you see a lot of nepotism. People are gonna hire their friends and family who they know understand the industry and are capable of fulfilling the needs of the role. And that's where the certification comes in and why it's a good thing. Before we get into it, I really wanna emphasize who shouldn't get this, right? This isn't for YouTubers. This isn't for content creators. This isn't for streamers. This isn't for pro gamers. And this isn't for people who already work in the industry. Again, this is for hiring decisions to help hiring managers sift through applications to bring people into the industry who currently work outside of it. The certification is going to help create legitimacy. And I honestly think it's a really good thing because it's gonna help a lot of people follow their dreams. And it's not gonna cost everyone $400. There are fee waivers for low income folks and scholarships so that they can be as inclusive as possible. This isn't an organization that's out to make a profit off people. So up on the board while I go over this next section, I'm gonna put the organizations represented on the screen. This board is made up of a vast, legitimate, and experienced group of esports professionals. And that's really important to see when evaluating a certification like this, because it's only as legitimate as the companies that have bought it. And what this vast group of represented companies shows is that they've all identified this problem that they've come together to solve and that they've bought in, showing that this exam shows a certain level of competency and that they're comfortable hiring people who have passed it. Now, of course, they're reshaping it, but it's gonna come back. And if you're able to pass it, it means that you have a chance to work at one of these companies. And you should be happy about this for a number of reasons. One, if you wanna work in esports, you have a really good avenue to do so now without really having a network. The second is that as these companies continue to expand and their revenue grows, their production, merchandise, and content will all get better. This means that content folks will be producing content at a more frequent and higher quality. As positive as I've been about the certification, I do foresee a potential big problem now. In the same vein as college degrees and how they were supposed to help you specialize before you entered the workforce, in society, it's almost become a bit of a requirement just to join the entry level. And with as passionate of a base as esports has, the demand for these roles is only gonna go up. So to be competitive and to stand out in a wide crowd of applicants, 
this could end up much the same way and become a requirement for people to join. The question you really have to ask yourself at the end of the day is, are you willing to spend $400 for a chance to live out your dreams? And I think a majority of people would say yes rather than the other way around. If you disagree, leave a comment and let's discuss it down below because this is a really important discussion that's being had and ECI has already proven that they're listening to your feedback. As always, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Into the night, I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light.